Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to perform for you <laughs> another one of my older creations, and this particular illusion can be found inside my book, Stage Size Rope Tricks. This particular effect can be performed a number of ways. It can be performed as a regular spirit type routine. We're going to do just a bit of that today so you can uh, get familiar with the cabinet. It also can be performed uh, like a rope escape where someone ties a rope around your wrist and, and weeds the rope down through this hole and someone from the audience can actually secure your hand uh, on the board and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. There's also, if you'll notice, there's a flap here. I don't know about the angle, but you can actually place your hand down through the front door and I'll show you that in a second. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we also need for this performance a ball that can be handed into the audience for inspection. It is indeed ordinary. And we also need an ordinary drinking glass. This drinking glass can be examined as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to perform. Now, it's very important for you to remember that when I place my hand over the hole, that you actually, even after I close the door, you never lose sight of my elbow. Now, I'll show you what's on the front of our little door. It's like an American uh, Indian motif of a uh, snake that evolves into a hand or a hand that evolves into a snake. Now remember, you never lost sight of my elbow just like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to perform. We've got my elbow, <laughs> we've got the board, we've got the glass and the ball. That's peculiar, ladies and gentlemen. I don't remember placing that ball on top of that glass. Well, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Now we're ready to perform. In actual performance, if you're doing, at this point, the rope trick, you would simply weed the rope down through the hole. Someone from the audience would secure you down, like I mentioned before. And now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to never lose sight of my elbow. My elbow never leaves your sight. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. And now when I open the door magically, and I do mean magically, I'm holding the glass in my hand. Isn't that something, ladies and gentlemen? There's only one explanation for this particular illusion, is that the spirits that dwell within the cabinet have worked their magic. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the mystery of the snake arm rope escape. <laughs>